No luck fishing, just that little guy. Um, I gotta go hunt for blueberries now for my breakfast. There it is, I told you it came out. Oh, I brought pancakes today because I was hoping that I was gonna find some blueberries. And we have, so I've been picking for quite a while. I only have this many, but it should be enough. So I'm really excited to have fresh blueberry pancakes. All right, today I am making pancakes with these lovely fresh blueberries. So excited. And I brought some bacon. Two pieces already cooked. So I had to make it for the pizza. I might not make it to the pancakes. Okay, we got a good consistency, no mess. Ready to start. What is happening over here? <laughs> I spot some familiar some packaging. Yep. Mother Cluck and Skillet, is this your breakfast today? It is. I'm going to try it out. It's a full meal, eh? I've never had I usually, before. You never had any of them? No. Oh, I wow. bought some, but I, I've been seeing This is a good one to start with. It's got a lot of stuff in it. And what are you having for breakfast? Oh, you don't need breakfast? I will. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Oh, my pancake's coming along here. Doesn't smell burnt yet. I think it's almost ready to flip. I'm very impatient, but I'm trying to wait. Golden brown. Yeah, look at this made one for now. I still have some more left. Lots of blueberries. I might share some with my friends. <laughs> okay, a little maple syrup. Muskoka maple syrup. I'm going to give it a try right now. Oh, that is so good. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go eat. Bye. Oh, that looks good. It smells mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. Denny's about to try her very first OTG meal. You gotta taste it first. Mm. Or did you already? I had a little taste before, yeah. It's good? Mm-hmm. It's good. The first one was so good, I had to make another one. <laughs> I still have blueberries left. I'm gonna go eat this. Bye. Hi. Oh, it's quarter after 11. A jolly Rancher. I'm just sitting here deciding what to do. Um, Jenny and I have been doing all the things. We got a whole bunch of wood collected for later. And a bunch of stuff they're still trying to get their pulley down i don't know if i mentioned it they went to hang their bear barrel yesterday and they got the pulley stuck in the tree so they've been trying to get it out but no luck so far um i think we might go out in the canoe and try to do a little fishing tyler's still sleeping and um we're ready for the rain if it comes it cooled down just a tiny bit I actually took my bug shirt off i'm gonna see if i can 
not wear it too much today, but I am coated with poison, so that should help. Um, that's about it. So, you got anything to add there, snickery? No. See a boat coming. I didn't hear you sigh in my video this time. You just <laughs> snickery. Yeah, there's a speedboat coming up the lake. There's lots of speedboats. They seem to go right past us over into Naganosh, so. Um, we might go check out that bay over there and see what's there and maybe do a little fishing. So, we'll see. We'll see. We're out in the canoe. We both have our neon green PFDs. Just coincidentally, had nothing to do with each other, right? Getting them. It's, it's a safe color. People yeah. On the water. So people can see you. Good visibility. So um, we're just paddling along. I guess I should say Jenny's paddling along. I'm filming, so. <laughs> we're gonna see if we can get some fish. We saw a bunch of the speedboats stop up here. We're calling it the honey spot, so. Let's see if we catch anything. I guess we're catch and releasing today because Jenny is allergic to fish and I'm not, but. Oh, you can eat it. Yeah, it's a lot of work. We'll see. If I catch something decent, I might keep it and make it up for lunch. Maybe Tyler wants some, but we'll see. This is the very small opening that goes into Naganosh. I'm actually really surprised how small it is that all those speedboats came through there, but. Um, here, I'll zoom it so you can see it better. Alright, well we've decided to go through just to say that we paddled to Naganash Lake. <laughs> It'll be the big story we can tell to Tyler when he wakes up. <laughs> Look at there's a dog or something over there. Because it's really pretty. some lunch um i did a lot of fishing jenny did a lot of catching yeah. i didn't do any catching apparently i need something called a power worm um so i'm gonna have to go buy some of those i did have a couple nibbles and bites and i caught a gigantic wheat plant so feeling happy about that uh, i have a salami wrap for lunch and i've got some ha 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 moo and I put some mozzarella on it. Yeah, we had a little bit of lunch and now Jenny and Tyler are gonna go fishing in the canoe. They didn't bring the third seat for me, so I have to stay behind. Oh. <laughs> Too much I can sit in the middle and I, you can sit I in actually the opted to stay. I'm gonna I'm gonna fish from my spot that I found this morning from the shore for a bit. 
and um, I got one of the crazy worms. Power worms. Yeah. Why? What's so powerful about it? I've already seen what's so powerful about it, Saw but the what? Power. What a <laughs> fish like it. It's the color. Okay. Well, it tastes good. It tastes it good. good. And it smell. They're scented, aren't they? Yeah, they are scented. Yeah. What do they smell like? Other fish? Uh, worms? <laughs> smell like something dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that's enough for now. See you later. <laughs> power worm I guess it's called so I'm gonna fish from shore all right come on fishy I'm not having any luck at all I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go around the front of the campsite um, there's some weeds and stuff over there in the little bay. I'm wondering if maybe there's a spot there. Uh, I think this worm is better for where Jenny was fishing, like in the weeds in the shallow water. Um, there's no weeds here, it's all rocks. So I'm going to go around the other side, see if I can find another spot over there. All right. So we have a nice little bay with lily pads and weeds. But I don't know if I can get to a good spot. Strawberries. So I can have a snack and fish. It's a pretty good deal. <laughs> All right, here we go. First cat. about three o'clock and um, just coming down to sit by the rocks here. The wind is pretty good so the deer flies aren't too bad and the sky is looking pretty cool. The sun's actually been coming out every now and then which is nice. And, um, I think I'm done for my fishing for now. I was going to take the canoe and I was thinking about taking it back out to where we were this morning, but I don't really feel like it. I cast a whole bunch of times um, from a whole bunch of different places around the campsite. I didn't have one bite or one nibble, so um, I'm just going to chill. I finally got a long sleeve on, even though it says it's 24 degrees on my thermometer, but I had a bit of a chill, so I'm really impressed with the weather so far. I'm just sitting here in my lovely rock couch lounger. It's very, very comfortable. Uh, the rocks at the front of the campsite are all like really nice and wavy and contoured and there's great places for you to just sit right on them and absorb the heat of the rocks. The sun's been coming and going. It's very relaxing, just kind of reflecting and enjoying the peace and the quiet around me. It's just wonderful. What do you have? The loon flute. <laughs> A loon flute. Where did you get this thing? The store across from Grundy Lake. Okay. And what does it do? Well, if you do it right, it sounds like loon calls. No way. But I don't really know how to do it yet, so. Oh, Sorry. okay. It comes with instructions. All right, well, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
really cool. Do the little hoot hoot. <laughs> no, no, do the whale. The whale? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a sick loon. <laughs> this, is a, this is a loon dying. <laughs> Pull over on the island, you're gonna be like, what the? You made this look really easy. It's not. I can't even make it. It sounds worse than a dying loon. <laughs> That's the best one so far. So the stick's got like whale, YOLO, tremolo on it. And then there's like some kind of a plungery thing. Jenny said you're supposed to keep it in the middle. I didn't read the instructions. Um, it's kind of like a fancy recorder, but it's pretty cool. I definitely want one of these. Ah! <laughs> Oh, Jenny and I are on a little walk about. There's the campsite. We've come around and through. We're going up to uh, another point, the next point that we saw over here. <laughs> but there's our site. Looks pretty cool. Hey, Jenny and I just went for a little walk about. We just came back, so we thought we deserved a reward. So, cheers. Got a little drink. And Tyler's laying down again, poor guy. But we're good. Got a migraine. Yeah, it's lucky. Mm. Uh, it's about 5.40 and still no rain. The wind's picking up on and off. The sun's trying to peek out. There's clouds, but... Not bad. Oh, here comes the sun again. Doo 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 doo. Here comes the sun. That's it. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. Are you enjoying the sun? <laughs> oh my god, the sun came out! This was not supposed to happen. It's supposed to be like 80 POP right now. Thunder, lightning. We haven't had, I think we had like six drops of rain at 7 a.m. That was it. So, oh, I'm so grateful. Thank you. Um. Jenny stole my spot on the rock, on the lounger rock. How is it? It's comfortable, right? Oh, way. The clouds are breaking up, guys. Some more coming there, but this is great. Tyler, hi. How are you? Pleased to see you. We're sitting here on the rocks. I showed Jenny my couch lounger and she's all in it now and I'm sitting in the dirt, but that's okay. <laughs> and we're sitting in the sunshine on these rocks. The clouds are breaking up somewhat. And um, I guess we're probably gonna eat soon, but it's just nice sitting here and really, really appreciate when the weather's good, when it's supposed to be so bad. And even though it's not hot or so, well, it's hot. It's 25 degrees, but you know, it's not crazy hot. It's not crazy hot. It's not sunny, but it's not pouring rain and it's not thunder and lightning. So I'm grateful. Nice Beautiful yeah. breeze. The no bugs are. It's really a perfect day. Perfect day. Perfect day. All right, we're all having different things for dinner. I have got an OTG Meals butter chicken. I have half the meal. Uh, my timer just went off. What are you making there, Tyler? Beef stew. Beef stew from Happy Yak. Yep. I would love to try that. And what do you have over there, Miss Thing? Home dehydrated chili mac. Wow. wow. That's impressive. And what the bag looks like? It looks yep. like it's all professionally made. Not hydrated yet, but just added the water. 
Wow. Okay. I'll have to take a look at that before you eat it. All right. Well, we got a little bit too much water in here, but not too, too much. Um, I always get the measurements a little off because this is half the meal and it's really hard to split it exactly, but I think this is pretty close. That's what it looks like, and I'm gonna go eat because I'm hungry and this smells so good. All right, is your meal ready? Yes. I'm more than ready. Mm. That looks good. <laughs> Show me a spoonful, it's easier to see it. It's gluten free noodles, so they're a little more crumbly than normal. Mm, it smells really good. I'm tempted to try it, but I'll probably burn my face off, so. And yours, Tyler? Is it almost ready? Yeah, another two bits, probably. Oh. Well, it's 10 after 8 on Saturday night. We went naked. We took the tarp down. We got a fire going. Um, I don't want to say first fire of the season. I've had a bunch of fires. Is the first fire of the season for you guys? Well, second, yeah. yeah. We had one second. Good. good weekend so far. Yep. Nice, nice fire there, Tyler. Thank you. Good going. That's it. Just having some pops, sitting here chit chatting. I'm gonna play the Family Feud in a bit. <laughs> it's exciting times here in Naganash. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Good job, everybody. Cheers. Show <laughs> water. <laughs> uh -huh. Happy July weekend. Yay. This is what summer was made for. Happy summer. Fishing. Fire bands lifted. Eating, Yay. Napping, campfire, blueberries. Uh -huh. What else do we need? Pops. <laughs> Catching your pants on fire? Yep. Some family Priceless. food later. <laughs> It's 8.45, we're sitting here enjoying the fire over there. Um, of course, we took the tarp down about an hour ago. Got all comfy cozy by our fire. And now it's starting to rain a little bit. Just a little bit. Jenny says, it's not going to last. I feel, I feel I'm in agreement with you. That's my prediction. It's going to be a, we're going to manifest. Just a little, just a little spring. A little sprinkle we're gonna manifest it so because we're now we have to get greedy like oh we went all weekend without having all this ridiculous rain we're supposed to get so it drops a little bit and we're like oh my god not really right? just put on my raincoat we're just sitting here having drinks in the drops whatever it's warm out drinks in the drops, drinks in the drops. <laughs> cheers to drinks in the drops <laughs> jenny's playing the loon flute <laughs> Well, there's a loon out here right by the campsite. I think he just ducked under, but Jenny's going to play the loon flute. Da -da -da. No pressure. Oh, I won't look at you. I'll just, I'll here, I'll flip the camera around. <laughs> um, that was so good. <laughs> Right, your turn. No, you're way better than me. <laughs> well, it's about 10 o'clock and we're heading to the bug shelter for a bit because the bugs got really buggy. Well, good morning. It is quarter after seven on Sunday, July 16th. Still no rain. Uh, it dripped a little bit on and off while we were having our fire last night and then that was it. Um, Overcast again this morning. Very, very calm. There is no wind, meaning there are lots and lots of bugs out. Um, just came out to the front of the campsite here to go for a little walk. I've been in and out of the privy about six or seven times this morning, so um, hoping that I'm done there. Uh, I'm going to go to the tent and start packing up as much as I can. Um, even though we decided not to leave super early, we were going to go with the weather. And um, my rule has always been, if you can, do it. And right now it's not raining. Um, 
So I have an opportunity to pack all my stuff up and keep it dry and avoid having to unpack it all and hang it when I get home. So I'm going to go back to my tent and get my stuff started packing up and uh, go from there. Got the loon parade this morning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loons flying over, calling. Oh, and here comes the heron. It's about quarter after eight and uh, weather is still holding. The sun has actually even popped out a bit. Um, there are some dark clouds, but so far so good. We've got no wind, mirror water. Um, got most of my stuff packed up. Jenny and Tyler just finishing up their Pop stuff. In. I'm eating my oatmeal and uh, we'll probably be done, ready to leave here maybe in a half an hour or so. Still have to take the bug shelter down. We left that up just in case something happened. It's like our insurance policy, like my umbrella. <laughs> Big huge turtle in the water here. Hi buddy. And a big fish swimming in front of it. With a black stripe on it. Look at the claws on that thing. All right, it's 9.30. Ready to go? Yeah. Excited to go home? Sad to no. leave. No? <laughs> We made it off the campsite without more than two handfuls of rain. rain. Well, we managed to pack everything up. Nothing got wet. Nothing's wet. Everything's dry. People are saying, I don't know why you're going camping this weekend. It's going to rain all weekend. Thank you, beautiful campsite, Migwitch. We really enjoyed you. And we're off. Hi, campsite. Thank you. <laughs> Probably can't see it, but we got a mama loon here with a baby on its back. It's so cool. Papa just popped out in front of us, but is now under the water again. So far, so good. We've almost got mirror water. No wind, no rain. Slowly making our way through. Yeah, you're gonna do it. Only Jenny is paddling so that my little arms can keep up. <laughs> well, it's quarter after 10 and we've made it through Smoky Lake. And we're just heading into the access into Smoky Creek. Hopefully, uh, not too crazy buggy like it was yesterday. We had a bit of wind yesterday, we don't have that today, so. I get some deer flies and stuff. Deer flies are insane in this lily pad swamp. <laughs> it's hard to go fast. There's no wind. Um, so yeah, I put my head in it on. I don't care. They were pinging off my face. Not enjoyable. 
just around 10.30 and we are at the 300-ish meter portage. Okay, let's get this party started. Did not waste any time there. <laughs> Tyler and Jenny were barely on the shore and I was picking up the canoe and taking off. Just want to get her done. <laughs> I don't like being the slow person. Apparently that's me. But I'm only one person paddling there too. So I can only go so fast. Well, Dennis, it looked like somebody didn't like your sign. It was here when we came in on Friday and it's gone now. Tyler with the boat. Hi, buddy. Look at the size of that guy. Things you see in a swamp. All right, it's just before 11. We have finished the portage. Oh, the bugs are terrible here. Look at, I just pulled one out of my hair. Oh, put my hat back on. This <laughs> swamp is nasty. Okay. You guys good over there? Tyler and Jenny just loading up the canoe and uh, off we go. These deer flies are gold. They have like a gold tint to them. The one I just caught out of my hair. Alright. Tyler and Jenny back there on the water. Oh, a little bit of a light breeze here. Bugs, so many bugs. There we go. I better move my butt now they're right behind me. Sun's trying to peek out a little bit. Very beautiful day here. Still no rain, no thunder, no lightning. And we are some really lucky people this weekend. All right, well, I just pulled the boat up here and threw my stuff up and just pulled the canoe up here. Tyler and Jenny have decided to take the beaver dam method route. And they're gonna scoot through this little spot here. And the sun has just come out. Like, we gotta be some really loved people somewhere with mother nature because <laughs> oh, we're getting some great weather and we're not supposed to thank you all right 11 30 just doing this wee portage here and we'll be back on the open water for the rest of the way out well it's 11 45 we decided to stop here at our little spot where we had lunch on the way in have a snack before we hit the water and um, it's still really calm water's almost mirror here um, so hopefully we have a nice paddle out still no rain just got some sunshine now the sun is just beating on us it's really hot um, but we're not complaining because no thunder no lightning no rain so thank you mother nature all right making our way out soon all right, it's just a few minutes before 12 and we are back on the water. Got about eight kilometers or so of paddling to do to get to the access where our cars are. And um, hopefully the weather holds. Jenny and Tyler there getting in the canoe. I hope my face is probably red. Okay, about all the things. All right, we're just starting to paddle through Kaligamog Lake and it looks like it's trying to rain. We got a couple of drops and just like last night by the fire, it kind of stopped again. So let's see, I might get lucky. Got a bit of a headwind, which we're all grateful for because it's really hot and it feels nice, but it's not anything 
crazy. So, paddling right next to Long Island. And uh, as soon as we get to the end of it, we're gonna dip in behind and paddle in the, the back waterway. started raining a little bit it's kind of just spitting on us but above us is blue sky and sunshine <laughs> all right we're just making our way through the back channel here we're just about at the elbow we're gonna turn right um this little campsite here on the right somebody was on it when we came by but no they're not And we just drove by a speedboat towing a slide. And I didn't even get any footage of it. Silly me. Well, it's about 25 after one, and we're just making our way through the lake. We're around maybe a kilometer or so from the access. It's about 1.30, and we're just at the bridge here. Right after that is the access, so we're gonna say goodbye. Uh, we made a little recap video. I'll stick it in here. Say bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, and the sun is still shining, and we still don't have any rain or thunder or lightning. Never trust your forecast, ladies and gentlemen. Be prepared, but don't stop your plans, because you never know. <laughs> Highlights of the weekend? Well, fishing just... with you. Oh, catching fish. Little, she were, she was catching, I was fishing. <laughs> yeah, we just had a little... We call it a loon parade. Yeah. About half hour ago. That was awesome. That was pretty cool. Loon yeah. parade with a heron coming back. Yeah. And we just saw a snapping turtle a little while ago. So. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming on another trip with me. Yeah. It's our first time doing a canoe trip. Yeah. I had a great time. You guys had a good time? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Hopefully we can do it again sometime. Last yes. time uh, we camped together was Whitewater Course, uh, which was just published, which will be weeks before now. And before that was Mew Lake, Winter Camping Family Day. Maybe August, September-ish? Something else? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. More to come. Yeah. More to come. Mm -hmm. Best time Ooh. of the year. Thanks Aww. for sharing the adventure and putting up with all my filming and pictures yeah. and blah, blah, blah. And uh, see you again soon. Yeah, thanks for everything. <laughs> Bye, guys. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.